For those of you that don't know, I'm Maggie, and today we are doing a whole Fabletics update. A couple years ago, maybe a year ago, I did an entire video about the Fabletics subscription. And I'd say subscription like this because truth be told, you can be a member and pretty much not pay anything until you want to actually buy a product. You just have to stay on top of it. And if you've never heard of Fabletics, let me start from the beginning. So Fabletics is an activewear company. Its owner is Kate Hudson, and it's also in the family of Just Fab and shoe dazzle and things like that. I really like their activewear. I think that it's super high quality and I definitely was a little bit skeptical the first time that I ever purchased from them because their deals seem too good to be true. So when you sign up to become a member or a VIP member as they call it, they run this deal that says you can get two pairs of leggings for $24, which is a really awesome deal because their inventory is not super duper cheap. Like some of their leggings cost like $80 full price, but that's why it pays to be a VIP member because all of the items are discounted if you become a VIP. To become one, all you have to do is sign up on their email list and agree that every first of the month, you're gonna have this new collection of items to choose from. And if you want to buy something from that new collection of items or whatever else is on their website, you can go ahead and purchase something and move on. It doesn't even have to be worth $50. And I say that denomination because if you don't purchase anything or skip the month by the fifth day of the month, then you are automatically charged $50 to put toward future purchases. So this is a subscription that can really get you if you do not keep up with things like that. Like if you're somebody that signs up for things and always forgets to cancel those free trials or whatever, this is probably not the subscription service for you. And a lot of you have asked me after that first video, you know, is this something that you can sign up for and then immediately cancel after you get your two leggings for $24? Yes, but it's a little bit more complicated because you actually have to call a number, cancel your membership. So it's not just as easy as going online and saying, okay, I'm done with this, move on. I keep the membership just because I exercise a lot. That's a, a big hobby of mine. I really love it. it keeps my stress levels down. This whole self-isolation stuff has really made it hard and I feel like I've definitely noticed a difference in my stress and my anxiety by not being able to go and have that release. That's kind of a tangent. So today we're gonna talk through everything that I've purchased from Fabletics and I'll give you my review on quality, on my favorite items. And another thing that I want you to know is that I own a lot from Fabletics, but I've ordered and returned almost even more than I own. So this is a company that is definitely hit or miss, at least for me and the way that things fit. For perspective, I'm 5'2", so I'm on the shorter side, so some things don't always fit me. But one good thing that I love about Fabletics is their sizing. They offer them in short sizes, which really helps out short people like me. So first of all, I own two of the Dream Polar Fleeces. Yes, I do own two. It's kind of embarrassing, but I absolutely love these sweatshirts, although <laughs> you do have to flip the pockets inside out to actually let them air dry. I don't like to dry anything like this because I feel like it just wears out really quickly. So these I actually hang dry and flip inside out because the inside of these little sweatshirts is actually more of a jersey kind of t-shirt feeling material. So on the inside it feels really good. You're not going to sweat and have this kind of fleece outer layer on the inside as well, which I prefer. So this one right here is in the cream and army green color. And then I also have it in just a pure kind of charcoal gray color. I love that these are kind of a cropped style because it makes this bulky pullover just a little bit more flattering. I've gotten so many different compliments on these pullovers and everybody's kind of surprised to hear that they're from Fabletics because I think that people only view Fabletics clothing as athletic, which is definitely athleisure, but you can wear it beyond the gyms. Truthfully, I have gotten so much use out of both of these that I definitely don't regret it. Their inventory changes and turns over all of the time. A lot of what I own is still available, but there are a lot of pieces that also are no longer available. Because they're churning inventory out new every single month, they tend to like bring back some of the same items and they'll even name them the same. It'll just be like a revival in new colors or something. So another jacket that I own from them is actually a zip style and I love that it has this reflective paneling right here, especially if you're a runner because this is a dark color and if you're running at night, people would still be able to see you. This is called Called the Kimmy performance jacket and to me this is like a dead ringer for that Lululemon jacket that I feel like everybody owned at one point. This kind of has a unique crisscross back and the bottom under here is actually mesh so it's a little bit ventilated. It also has great pockets on the side right here and the sleeves have the little thumb hole too which I personally really like or liked more before I had a puppy and then he just 
chews on everything. This I have loved. It's a very flattering, very form-fitting, tight-fitting jacket. So if that's not kind of your style of clothing, then you probably wouldn't like this. You would probably want a pullover that's more oversized like the Dream Polar Fleece. This I would recommend to those of you who want something more figure-flattering and more, I don't know, streamlined. So this tank I love because of the high neck. If you look on the side, it actually has this kind of little split open part. And so it's really flattering. I love the curved hemline. It again is just kind of that mesh material. But this is probably my most worn workout tank ever. I am considering getting this in a couple more colors, but I will say I prefer Fabletics like darker shirts and darker colors over their lighter ones. I don't always want the clothes to be see-through, if that makes sense. So that's why I tend to gravitate toward a lot of black or darker colors, as you'll see as we kind of move through all of this inventory. This casual cropped swing tank comes in a million different colors. It is always available. I think that this retails for like $25. So very affordable because I feel like the equivalent to a tank like this, like a mesh tank at Lululemon, would be like $60 or $70. And I just don't feel like that's necessary. This again, I have worn countless times. I ordered it in 2018. It still looks brand new. I just think it's great. So this is definitely at the top of my list. Highly, highly, highly recommend. And it's always available because it's one of their best sellers. The next tops that I want to mention are all tops that I wear with like real clothes. They're not exactly tops that I ever work out in because the material is a lot heavier and a lot less moisture wicking. So these are kind of like true cotton t-shirts with a little bit more weight. This is the Alia side tie tank. And so you can see the little split in fabric here. I kind of like to fold the tank under and then tie it up on the side so that I don't have like a really long piece hanging down in the back. And this looks so cute with like ripped jeans and sandals. I've worn this with shorts. I've worn this in the fall time and in the winter time under like a big long cozy cardigan. I feel like this is just truly really versatile. The armholes do come down kind of low so that is a consideration. But if you have kind of a light colored sports bra, you could solve that problem and not be self-conscious of what's going on on the side. And this is one that I do highly recommend. I think that this fabric of theirs is just so nice and high quality. Again, even though this is kind of a cotton, I do not dry these. These all hang dry. I just realized I haven't told you the sizing on any of these items. I own all tops, all pullovers, and all jackets in a size extra small. So there, covered it all in one little sentence. And the reason I'm not telling you pricing is because it completely varies. They go on super sale all of the time, so that is not the biggest concern. You could get on one day and it's $50, the next day it's $30. Wait for a sale always. I have never, ever, ever purchased anything full price from Fabletics, ever. Next up, let's talk sports bras. This, I believe, is called the Alexis Seamless Sports Bra, or at least the newest version of this is. It had the exact same patterns. It's not still available in this same color. And while this doesn't have actual patterns, pads in it. It has so many layers of fabric that I feel very covered up and very, very supported in this bra. The only downside of this bra and this style of bra is that if you're not just going to wear the bra to work out, it's oftentimes really hard to find workout tanks that go with this style of bra that are just like a normal tank. Most of them that I own kind of go up high necked racer back style and then the straps on these just kind of hang out. So to me it looks a little strange, but if that doesn't bother you, then you may really like this. I typically wear this with just the sports bra when it's time for me to wear it. But this is still available. It comes in a lot of fun different colors now that kind of like really show the contrast and the design that's going on a little bit better than this. This is also one that I should wear when I'm a lot more sun-kissed than I am now because it kind of blends in with my skin a little bit. This is another super duper supportive one. And I don't think that this exact one with kind of the reflective bottom is still available. This was part of one of their collaboration lines, but this is the Ella High Impact Sports Bra. And on the back, it kind of has a fun little crisscross design. This I do get a lot of use out of. It is plain, but I love that it's higher necked. I like where it actually hits on my rib cage and I think that it's very flattering. This is available in a ton of different colors and seems to be a mainstay on their website. So if this is appealing to you and you like more plain workout gear, there is a place for that too on the Fabletics website. And I would highly recommend this. 
Okay, now we're on to the three newest ones that I own. And this one right here is the Marin Seamless Sports Bra. I just think that this is a very flattering, almost like sweetheart-like cut. You have the mesh area up top, so you still feel covered, but it still looks very flattering. And this is a little bit longer line, so it's not hitting me at the exact same place as a normal sports bra, which means that it has the potential to be super unflattering. But I found that if you pair these longer line sports bras with high-waisted leggings, you end up just getting a little tiny waist, or at least it looks like that, and then it can be a little bit more flattering. This one, again, has the actual pads in the sports bra, which I absolutely love. This one in this exact same persimmon or red color is still available, and this is part of their latest spring line. I believe it was from February, if I'm not mistaken. Highly, highly recommend this one. And this next sports bra I loved so much, I actually have two of them. I'm wearing one today in a different color style, and then this is just the black version, again. It's a high neck sports bra top, and I typically just wear sports bra tops when I work out most of the time, not actual tank tops, and so that's why I look for some that are a little bit more top-like and less just sports bra-like. And I love the back of these sports bras. Again, need to cut the tag out. It has these three straps on the back. It has this very ultra-flattering halter neckline. I just think that this is such a flattering sports bra. This was in collaboration with Maddie Ziegler, so this is called the Maddie Seamless Sports Bra. This is absolutely absolutely still available, comes in several different colors. I can't recommend these enough. It does have the pads in there, so it's great for high impact workouts, but I wore it today under a tank top to show you that even though it's a high neck sports bra, it's still totally capable of being worn under clothing and looking completely normal. And you still get a little peek of that color on the sides, even without like showing off the whole thing. Run, run, run and go get this. This is my favorite. And last but not least, probably my favorite category, let's move on to leggings. I recently talked about these, so I'll talk about these first. And these are the Trinity high-waisted pocket leggings. These are full-length leggings, but again, I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I'm 5'2", I'm on the shorter side, and I love that Fabletics offers a short seam option. If you're on the taller side, offer a long seam option. You have the ability to make sure that these leggings fit you perfectly. They have this nice pocket on the side, so if you're a big runner, you could slip your phone in there, your keys in there, whatever you would need when you leave the house. And these are just so flattering, so soft. They wash and dry well. I've worn these countless times and I haven't even had them that long. And I just thought that the fun blue, cobalt blue kind of color that it is, is such a great refreshing color in the gym because you saw that I own a lot of neutral or black workout gear. And so I thought that this would match a ton of what I already have. And I don't know, just be something a little bit different. I have mine in the size extra small short. I wear extra small in all of the leggings. I love these so much that I actually ended up buying these in an army green color. They're a little bit different. They have kind of like a crisscross pocket in the back panel, and I would show them to you right now, except for I wore them yesterday, so they're dirty. Other leggings that you can get, and I think that the Trinity line has just stolen my heart because these are the Trinity mid-rise 7-8 leggings, and I actually have these in two colors as well. So I have them in this kind of like teal, jewel-toned blue color, and they again have that pocket on the side for your phone. It has a little mesh paneling on the side. This is the mid-rise though, and I'll say I really prefer a high-rise legging. That's just something I've learned about myself after all of this trial and error. I still wear these a ton. The 7 8 leggings are good. They're still pretty long. It's still very flattering. I'm just in a stage right now where I like full-length leggings more. And the mid-rise just doesn't stay up as well as the high-rise. I feel like with the mid-rise, I'm constantly like pulling up the leggings in the middle of class just to make sure that, I don't know, I just pull them up a lot. They're not as comfortable. But for like athletes, and just like going on walks with the dog and things of that sort, these are absolutely perfect. They're just not super good if you're doing a lot of stretching and moving. These are perfect for spin class. Never have issues with these in spin. It's more in like my cardio Pilates kind of class that these become more of an issue. And that is my entire inventory of all things Fabletics. Now, for all of these products that I really like, there are tons of products that I tried on at home that weren't flattering, that were very inconsistent in sizing, and I had to send back. So I've been a Fabletics VIP member for about two years at this point, and I do plan to continue on because for me, it's just part of my routine. 
I get on, I pay rent, I go to the Fabletics website, and I skip the month if I don't want to buy anything that month. And that way, in the times where, I don't know, Nash rips a hole in my leggings, which has been a theme lately, or I just feel like my clothes are getting worn out, or I want something different, then I'll go on to Fabletics, see what's available, and purchase something at a discounted price. Because if you're not a VIP member, Fabletics clothing really is not a whole lot less expensive than brands like Athleta and Lululemon and Outdoor Voices. You know, the only way to get it cheaper than that is to be a VIP member. So I'll have a link in the description box below where you can go in, sign up, and get your two for $24 leggings. I would highly recommend that they both be the high-waisted Trinity pocket leggings because those are my absolute favorite, but you have to decide for yourself. They have a ton of inventory. Again, each month they come out with something different. So there, if there's not something that you like now, now, wait, don't waste the $24 deal now, do it later. Hopefully this was helpful for you. It is not a very typical subscription service, so I wanted to make that completely clear. A lot of people were a little bit confused about that, so I hope that this cleared things up a little bit. But if you liked this video, then like it, stick around, subscribe, join the community, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.